Hi YouTube. Well, it's that time again. I got another one uh, of those uh, Blackwing subscription packages that just came in and that's what we're going to do in this video is the Blackwing unboxing. Let's get right into it. I haven't opened this thing yet, so I am really, really excited to find out what's in here. So let me go ahead and find something that will let me come into this old box. Move other things out of the way of my camera view. We do not want to obstruct the view here. All right, let's see. Try not to destroy my box because I'm going to have to... Uh, Put it all back in here again. All right, let's see what we got. We have an envelope. And inside is a picture. It's a postcard. It says, this painting by Kenny McKendry is the greatest likeness of my father I've ever seen. The original hangs on our dining room wall. This is the first time it has been shared outside of our home. Thomas Steinbeck. Steinbeck. Okay. So, this is about the famous writer Steinbeck. And this Thomas is his son. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool. Doesn't give his name though. Let's see what it says here. Well, here we'll find out the details. Okay, should at least probably tell us his name is John or something. It says here, um, the Blackwing 24, that's what this one's called. The Blackwing 24 pays tribute to the Pulitzer Prize winning author John Steinbeck. Designed under the guidance of his son, accomplished author Thomas Steinbeck, we've attempted to create what would have been John Steinbeck's ideal pencil. All right. Let's see if we get that back in focus. Tom was adamant that his father would want it to be black. From barrel to eraser, it would also need to sharpen to a firm point without sacrificing much, if any, darkness. The Blackwing 24 is just that, an all-black pencil with a brand new graphite formulation perfect for extended writing. John believed in the benefits of rituals. Each day he would start by sharpening exactly 24 pencils before putting graphite to paper. According to Tom, some days he would use over 100 before he was finished. Enclosed are 12 pencils inspired by John Steinbeck. Sharpen them one at a time or all at once. This is volume number 24. Black finish, black ferrule, black imprint, extra firm graphite, March 2016. Okay. So it is called the Blackwing 24. Before I open that up, let's take a look at the tube it comes in here, the 13th pencil for collectors. This would be like the one that you do not actually use. And you can see it tells us that the finish is black, the ferrule is black, the eraser is black, the imprint is black, and it's volume 24, graphite, and then there's a sample of how it writes. And we'll be looking at that here in a second as I sharpen one, and I will test it out. So, let's take a look at these babies. I cannot wait to see what an all-black in my hand feels like, an all-black pencil. Okay, as usual, the black wing box. And then... Some more of that writing write-up that was found on the back of this box here. Just repeating it. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. You won't believe this, but I mean, can you see? There's the writing. All black. I mean, you, you can just barely make it out. See that pot palo? I mean, I got the light reflecting on it. Blackwing 24. It's a glossy black. Black everything. Everything is black on this thing. Wow. All right. I have got to try this pencil out. All right. So for you guys, let's do it. I got so much junk on my desk now I don't know what to do with myself. All right. Now, to sharpen this, I'm not going to use my Helix A5 because uh, I don't really want to get those little claw marks in there. So, why don't we go ahead and use this nice Coom masterpiece that I love so much. There we go. Let's just sharpen it with the masterpiece. I did a video on this, so if you haven't seen my video on the Coom Masterpiece Sharpener, I highly recommend that you go ahead and, and see that video, because it is a really, really nice sharpener. All right, let's start with sharpening inside number one. I might as well zoom it up so you can see it real nice and close. It's like I don't want to hurt the paint job, so I don't want to use the A5 sharpener. Oh, I love this masterpiece. Look at that. Oh, boy. Get it all the way to the stop there. And um, somebody commented, by the way, on one of my videos, that this plastic thing is removable and uh, I'm sure it is though I'm not going to remove it right now so that you can go as long as you want I guess with that but that's that's long enough and then I'm going to go in here to give it a point wow <laughs> That's a point. Okay. All right. Take a look at that. You, that is one sweet sharpener. Oh, yeah. But I can definitely understand having to sharpen 10, 15, or 20 of these at a time if you're going to do a lot of writing. Okay. So let's see how this thing writes. All right, Blackwing, twenty-four. So tribute to John Steinbeck. <clears throat> okay. Now, this formulation here, it has good tonal quality, as you can see. You can see it shows it really good. And I noticed that it has a different feel when you write. For one, the pencil seems to be keeping its point really good, which was which what they said was that it had a, a firmer point without giving up the darkness. So let me see if that really is the case by bringing out the black wing itself, which is their softest black wing. And might as well sharpen it as well here just to make sure. You got apples to apples. I just love this sharpener. This is an awesome sharpener. All right. Sorry for that. Hitting the camera. 
All right, let's mat. Let's just match these two up here. The black wing. Okay, so this is the. Oops. This is the black wing. Okay. And this is the black wing. Twenty-four. So you got black wing, black wing twenty-four. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Take a look at that. Okay, they look pretty much the same. Now I feel this wearing down here pretty quick. Okay, and the new Blackwing 24. I left I out on purpose, so anyway. All right, the 24s on the bottom, black wings on the top. So I'll let you be the judge of that, okay? The 24 appears to have retained a point. Well, let's get that sh focus going. All right, now we'll do it, okay? Seems to have retained a little better. Well, I got some purple on me. A little bit more of a point. But then again, that may be a, a subjective. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the MB grading on here. So to do the MB grading, find out where this new pencil falls we'll just first I go up and down shading get a good swath of that there okay and I go across Okay, and then I'm going to go diagonally. I want to fill up the tooth of this paper. Pretty much saturate it the best I can. And I'm not using hardly any pressure on this. I'm holding it in the back. I am going back and forth to fill up that paper. All right. And that's the 24. You can also do this with the black wing itself. Diagonally. Now 
And diagonally again. Okay, so there's the two. Then what I'm going to need to do here is I'm going to need to cut the edge. There we go. And move this camera out so you can see it. Alright, there we go. And we're going to bring the AMB grading slip over here. And now we'll just bring it back up again so that you can see it. Let's get it as close as we can. All right, I think we can focus there. All right, now focusing on the 24, we can see that is darker than an HB. Okay, kind of looks like it comes in as a B. It may be lighter than a 2B. Yeah, it's it's close. Let's go back to a B. I'm out of camera again. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. Seems to be a good match for a B. You be the judge. It looked like a B to me. And we go to 2B. And that does look like it's slightly less than a 2B. So it looks like the 2B is a little... So it seems to be pretty much between a B and a 2B. Somewhere around there. Okay. Now the black wing itself... Okay, it's clearly darker than a B. Okay, it looks darker. There's a 2B. Okay. Go to a 3B. 3B is definitely darker. Okay. So, we're looking at these pencils. The black wing seems to match it to 2B pretty good. Whereas the 24 seems to be a little bit, like, maybe in between, you know, just, just short of the 2B. You can see it's slightly lighter than the 2B as opposed to the black wing itself, the regular black wing. So, which makes sense. But when you're writing, I can tell you this, when you're writing, you really can't tell the difference. So that to me is very important. So anyway, we'll give the 24, uh, we'll just call that a B plus. And uh, of course, you know, the black wing, this is not about the black wing, but the black wing 24. And we'll just say that's a, a 2B for the black wing itself. A softer pencil which wears down quicker as well. Okay, I think that should do it. Um, oh, one, one more thing. So we're not done yet. Let me get that out of the way. So sorry, I was rushing here.
Let's see how well this eraser erases. And also we'll do a smudge, okay? So let's smudge. Okay, so you can see that it smudges. It's a soft pencil and it definitely has a smudge to it. It's not bad though. It's not bad. And as far as erasing, has a slight abrasive feel to it. Doesn't feel like uh, you know, like your standard vinyl. It does feel it has a little abrasiveness to it. And I can feel also a little bit of paper has come off after I've done that. So it is it is an abrasive eraser and you can take a look at the ghosting right there. So you can see how I've kind of worn into the paper itself. So it does appear to take some paper off uh, if you do too much and uh, it's still the, that's the black wing up there and that's the 24 down here so you can see it took the 24 off it didn't completely take the black wing off which testifies to the black wing being slightly darker you can see the the ghosting there and you could also make out that it kind of takes the surface of the paper off so that that's not necessarily ideal um, I don't want paper to be actually eaten up when I'm erasing so that's good to know but it is a beautiful pencil and like all the black wings, I really love it. I'm going to enjoy writing with this as well. Anyway. As I was putting the uh, pencils away, I found this button stuck in the side of the, between the uh, stuffing and, and the box itself. So I wanted to make sure that you saw this. It is a little black pen. It has a, a pen in the back. You put it on your shirt or whatever. So that also comes with the unboxing of the Blackwing 24. There you go. If you like the, inter the review and the unboxing of the Blackwing 24, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.